willing, will you be willing uh, to, if you were called on by government to use I your don't face? Need to wait for government. Nobody needs to wait for anybody to call them. I think it's right as an individual to preach to people, to talk to people. That's why we have the platform. That's why we have the numbers. God has given us the numbers to educate people. So we don't have to wait till someone calls us. We should do that. You know, we, should, we have to do that. Even you have to use your platform. Everyone needs to educate people. Educate people about social distances because um, people are not understanding this whole thing because I'm still seeing people outside. People want to give hands, take people want to hug. I'm like, really? Man, this is not the time for that. So we need to educate ourselves. Everybody needs to do that. And we don't just need to wait for celebrities. If celebrities are appointed, that's fair. No problem. But everyone needs to educate everybody. So government actually says they want to have your services. They think that you have the numbers like you're saying and you can speak to a lot of people because a lot of people idolize you. But they say they don't see why they should pay you to use your face. And I'm asking if you are called on, would you be willing to do it for free? Um, I guess um, <laughs> I'm doing this already for free right now. Nobody's paying me. So that should give you the, your answer. Because I'm already doing this without being paid. So that should give you your answer. Aisha, so the number of people who die for coronavirus in Italy has risen by 969. That's just today. Mm. That's the biggest daily jump since the crisis began. 969 people. Now, the total number of deaths now stands at 9,134. That's according to Italy's Civil Protection Agency. This is it. Now, mm. let's come to Ghana. I earlier on said that um, I beg your pardon, earlier on said that the uh, total cases is 137. Now, we also are getting information that the confirmed deaths now stands at four. Early on, I said three, but also now the update is that we have four deaths now confirmed with 137 cases. So this is the update on the Ghana Health Services website. The uh, description of the deaths according to the update we're getting is that these persons, the four, uh, were as a result of people who already have underlining health conditions. That's the explanation on the Ghana Health Services website. So this is the information there. 137 cases, Aisha, with four yeah. deaths. So please, your self-discipline mm. is my the savior of my life yes so and please, as, yeah as we wait it's, it's for important. the president's address of course you need to keep maintaining the social uh, distancing protocols and wash your hands and the running water use alcohol-based sanitizers yeah, eat like well this. taking a lot of vitamins as well take very good care of yourself okay because we need you alive my name is Aisha Yakubu this morning on 3news.com my name is Alfred Okonsi good evening Health Tips is brought to you by Carex in collaboration with the Ghana Medical Association. Are there any drugs for the treatment of COVID-19 or coronavirus? Some drugs are being tested in other countries for the treatment of COVID-19 with promising results. These are yet to be approved for use in Ghana. These drugs do not prevent the novel coronavirus infection and most people who are infected recover without needing these treatments. These drugs are for the treatment of severe forms of the disease. Remember, these drugs can have a very serious adverse effects when used wrongly, so avoid taking any of them without prescription. This health tips was brought to you by Carex in collaboration with the Ghana Medical Association. If you do me in your chin, and that's why you're authentic. And you, and you're in tribute.